Hello, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to explain what the difference is between a stem wall construction for a foundation and a monolithic slab for construction. So there's two theories and there's two reasons why you would probably use one or the other. Um, typically a monolithic slab, which is exactly how it sounds, is one pour. So when you take the earth and you just put form boards in the ground, you dig the footings around, and you pour it all at once. Typically, we at Hingle Erickson Construction do not do monolithic slabs. We like stem walls. Stem walls are just a little bit more expensive, but we believe it's a better product. Um, it adds another step in the process, which adds a little bit more expense, but we tend to like it. What we do is we dig the footings, which I'll show you. We build the stem wall, which these gentlemen right now are doing. They're building the stem wall and then we backfill and then we prep our slab then we pour it so we're adding one more step in the process now another reason why you would use a stem wall construction versus a mono is because the undulation of the property itself if your property is not flat you have to figure out a way to make it flat for the slab so to do so we either build the stem wall with the block to raise it up like we have in this corner or you can build it up with the dirt and then compact the dirt which then you'll have a slope on that side but your slab will still be flat so anyways I'll show you what it looks like in progress so in this process we've already poured the footing added the rebar put the concrete in the ground and this is a great example of why a stem wall would be needed because if you look Right there, where I'm pointing at the flag, that's the finished floor elevation. And if you could run a straight right string line around, the top of that block will be where this actually finished floor is. So it drops about a little over 24 inches just from that corner to this corner. So to do a make a slab perfectly level that's what we do let's build the stem wall backfill it and then we'll pour the concrete back in but that'll be another video all together and another reason why we like to build stem walls is to have a dramatic entrance to the house we can actually step it up uh, a perfect example is the house across the street which was built with a pad but as you can see there's not a dramatic step up to the house. The step ups happen at the front, but then not at the house. With our house, what we will do is since our elevation is higher, we will have step ups to the house. So there's no really right or wrong. We, we prefer to do it. Um, we like the process better. You can do it either way, but it's just, there's certain reasons why, in certain instances you have to do it, in certain instances you can get away with not doing it. And like I said, it's. It can be a little bit less expensive if you do a monolithic slab versus a stem wall. So if you have any questions, always let me know. And if you like this video, give it a share or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.